Hey guys, one six Sam here. In this video, I'm going to set up a C2, which is command and control, a part of the team, which is mostly used for managing the uh, remote sessions or remote accesses of different uh, machines. So in this video, we are going to set up uh, a GC2 sheet, which is a repository of uh, Lou Cipron. He's a creator. I mean, he's a developer so using the uh, tool we are going to control the machines from the Google sheet in the case of command and control so let's get started for this we're going to open the browser and type Lucifron I'm going to provide the link in the description okay now copy this and open your Kyle Linux machine or in this case, in my case I'm using a WSL2 like Kyle Linux so I already have it pre-installed so I'm just going to remove that okay I think I forgot okay now before doing that, you are going to have to install the Golang package. Just type this command: sudo apt install Golang. I have already installed this, so now git clone and paste it up over here. Now the repository is cloned. I'm going to clone into the GC sheet and now you can see there is no other tool so for that in the setup we're going to see how to set it up so after installing the Google Lang package we have to go for go build GC2 sheet go for installing the I mean for compiling the go script yeah that's done and you can see the GC2 sheet up over here in green that's compiled binary and now next step we're going to create a Google service account but for that you're gonna need a Google account with the cloud and it's for the first time which I am using it I'm not using it for the first time but when you guys are using it for the first time you gonna it's gonna show you some prompts just go with s no uh, I mean s next and etc and uh, that's it after that uh, we have to create a project for creating a project just go on the select a project and click on your project after this just name something I'm going to name this as dev ytgc2 and create it's gonna create in a few seconds it's done now go in the select project and go to the name which you are going to the project and now we are working on in this project after that just go to apis and services and go to credentials now we have to create the service accounts so for that just create credentials and service account and here you're gonna na uh, give your name I mean any nickname whatever you want your service account to be named as I'm going to keep it as Sam and create and continue and this both are optional you can just skip it I mean skip it it's done and after that they have mentioned that we need a JSON key file to create that we have to click on this mail and after that go to keys and add a key and create a JSON file after that it's gonna download it into your machine so click on save
okay now to move that file to this place I'm just gonna use move command as I'm using it in Windows but if you're using Kyle Linux and opening it in there you don't not gonna have to do this it's, yeah. and what's that name of the file we guess it's Adro. Yeah, here I'm using the more command, the part of the file in my Windows directories, and um, this is the dot represents the present working directory. Got it? Yeah, we got it. You can see the file as well. Okay, done. Now for the next step, we're gonna go for enabling these Google Sheet APIs and Google Drive APIs. So just click on this link and enable the API for the cool drive I mean cool drive and this is the same step you can just click on next and enable it's the same steps we're gonna do it for the Google Sheet API as well to enable it that's enabled close this tab and this tab and go for Google Sheet APIs do the same thing for this enable the API and again the same procedure next and enable it is enabled now close this tab and this tab now we are going to create a Google Sheet and Google Drive for that I'm using a different account so just make sure that you keep the editors group to the service account so this is a different different account I'm using here so I'm gonna name it as C2 after that click on three dots and click on share and to get the email address we need the email address of that just copy this and paste it up over here give it editors permission and next and send now you need to create a Google Sheet up for you. Create and share means it's gonna give the permissions to, to the service account automatically. So you don't have to get again. I'm just gonna name it as well C2. And um, yes, uh, now we're going to uh, use this uh, GC2 sheets syntax in your terminal now go for this gc2 sheet you can see the help menu here okay now let's try this for this first we need a key that's gonna be here and for try drive for the drive as it said it should have a cool sheet ID cool drive ID so for that I'm um, just going to show you guys how to get it but first yeah for Google Drive ID you're gonna go to Google Drive which you give permissions and copy this part okay after the folder slash and paste it up over here for the sheet do the same a similar same thing after D copy the in between the d slash d slash and the slash edit that's the google sheet id and yeah take it up over here and here press it and click on i mean press enter and you can see the it's still running now open your google sheet 
and you can see that there is a date and the host name of the computer I mean not the machine and some random number now go to that click on here, here and uh, type who am I press enter and uh, within few seconds you're gonna see the output in the right column it's have a 10 seconds delay as we kept up over here so now we're going to type IP config and uh, a few seconds okay it's showing the NXH status okay now let me do one thing cat etc password I think it's also gonna sh uh, show me exit status so no it's not showing it okay so this is the password and you can just see etc dot slash password file and as it's paste in the same column or the row that's the reason it's unable to scroll up over here if you want you can just click in this over this column and scroll it up and down and um, if you want you can just download this file as well as it's given uh, the predefined functions that is upload and download file from the target machine to the Google Drive can upload it so for that we are going to use a syntax upload semicolon and the path of the remote file for example I'm taking password file and I'm just gonna press enter and it's gonna show the file uploaded to this drive which we give permission so we're gonna go up over here this is a drive just refresh and you can see the password file you can see it up over here and now for example I have to download this file to the remote machine we are going to use download command yeah this is pre-written functions in the go language so we're going to use download and it's asked us to for the file ID so for this you're gonna open this file in the new folder I mean new tab okay, let me refresh open this open it in a new window yeah because you can't see the ID here now you can see the file ID copy that till slash and um, no, yeah. the sheet download and paste the file ID and again a semicolon and a remote path of the file where you want to store it for example I'm going to show it on the desktop so I'm giving the home full path that is home sam desktop slash uh, let me give it as a download dot txt and press enter and we're gonna give a few minutes or a few seconds for this and uh, it's gonna take a few seconds yeah it's file downloaded so let us check I'm already in desktop we are already on desktop so I'm just gonna go back on directory and you can see that there is a download.txt file you can see when it was created as well the time is 8 and here in my place it's 8 okay so you can just get this or I'm just gonna do it download you can see the file so that's it for this video and you can uh, try to do other stuff go to research do your kind of commands and if you have any doubts you can just feel free to comment on or 
contact me through my Instagram or any of my social media accounts. So that's it. So, uh, so that's it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. Happy hacking.